The following procedure is primarily for sciatica due to piriformis syndrome or tightening of the piriformis muscle. However, it can also provide relief for sciatica due to canal stenosis as the percussive forces increase vascularization and oxygenation to the sciatic nerve. It requires using the MAX-2 single or dual node massager or comparable device. This is a powerful handheld massager that has a required power and frequency to accomplish tonic vibrational reflex, a phenomenon in which rapid vibration interrupts nerve signals to a muscle spasm, causing it to release. The sciatic nerve travels directly underneath the piriformis muscle, a deep muscle in the pelvis underneath the gluteus muscles. Its job is to externally rotate the hip. If the piriformis muscle involuntarily spasms, it can press on the sciatic nerve and cause shooting pains down the nerve and into the leg. The piriformis muscle originates at the lateral border of the sacrum and connects to the back of the femoral head. To locate it, feel for the hard bony ridge near your tailbone or sacrum. Then palpate the bony protuberance of the hip bone. The piriformis lies in a straight line between those two points. The belly of the piriformis muscle, or its largest diameter, is about one-third this distance from the sacrum. Remember, the piriformis is underneath several inches of fat and your gluteus maximus muscle, so you have to press deep into the buttock fat to access it. The first procedure is to press the tip of your thumb into the belly of the piriformis muscle firmly as you internally and externally rotate the hip as demonstrated. Next, using the MAX-2 percussion massager, apply the nodes over the lower back muscles for a minute. Then, locate the piriformis muscle again by palpating for the bony landmarks. Run the massager along the length of the piriformis muscle several times. Then, press down firmly and hold a single vibrating node into the following areas on the piriformis muscle the insertion point at the sacrum, the belly, the insertion into the hip, and all around the hip. Next, press a node into the insertion of the hamstring where it attaches to the pelvis. Hold for a few seconds. Then, run the massager down the center of the hamstring several times. Lastly, have the patient bend her knee and move her leg as shown. This is active hip internal and external rotation and activates the piriformis muscle. As she does the movements, run the MAX-2 massager along the length of the piriformis from the hip socket to the sacrum and back. Because the MAX-2 massager is very powerful, you do not have to press down as firmly as if you were to use your hands.